two billion years ago, the earth trembles, cracks, and heaves. A day becomes a week, becomes a month, becomes a year, becomes a century. A thousand centuries becomes a million. A million, tens of millions. Now, a range of mountains towers where a plain once stood. In the process of mountain building, immense pressures and heat altered the sedimentary rock and contorted the layers. In the inner gorge, only the roots of those ancient mountains remain. The walls of contorted rock reveal how molten material from deep within the earth forced its way into the base of the newly created mountains to cool, to harden, to seams and masses of pink crystalline granite. Time passes. The slow, inevitable action of wind and rain, heat and cold, washes the mountains away. Time passes. And the plain becomes a sea. Those long vanished waters have left their mark, a signature written in sandstone layers, the sands of ancient beaches. In brilliant red shales, the hardened muds of river deltas. And in these rock layers, the first trace of life itself. Peculiar structural patterns etched in limestone, the mark of ancient reefs built up by the activity of minute primitive plants. These algae thrived in the warm tidal waters that were here over 600 million years ago. Time passes. And the seas withdraw, leaving an arid plain. and the land shakes and a second mountain range is built upon the roots of the first. And in their time, these mountains too erode away. Another surf rolled in upon the land. Gradually, the sand deposited near the shore was covered by mud, and this, in turn, by lime, as the seas continued to deepen. These thick, horizontal bands of rock bring another message from the world past. In the rich medium of the seas, life was evolving, becoming larger, more complex. The belligerent, the benign. the protected, the vulnerable. And the new rulers of the brave new world, the trilobites. Growing to 10 inches or more in length, they were the largest creatures in existence. and the first fish appears in the seas. Time passes. And the land rises above the sea, and scorpions and millipedes become the first air breathers. Time passes. And the surface of the land is worn and washed away.
Rivers scoured channels as they meandered across long, vanished plains. Lavender-colored muds settled into these river scars, carrying with them evidence of a new era, the age of fish. Bulky, primitive creatures encased in bony armor. They left a record of their passing in skeletons, scales, and plates. Time passes. And the seas invade again. A wide and quiet sea in shallow water marine animals, often called sea lilies, thrive. Their jointed arms wave to and fro, gathering food. In deeper water, countless millions of tiny plant and animal skeletons rain down to the bottom of that ancient sea. Too small to be seen with the naked eye, their structure only becomes apparent when magnified thousands of times. For every 1,000 years, an inch of sediment, a half inch of rock. 30 million years of skeletons leaves one of the most prominent and conspicuous features in the Grand Canyon, vertical cliffs of limestone over 500 feet thick. Time passes. And the seas give way to sediments washed down from distant mountains. 300 million years ago, the seas had a tug of war with the land. Layers of red sandstone deposited by freshwater rivers alternate with shales rich in seashells. The sandstone forms ledges. The softer shales form slopes. Finally vanquished, the sea retreated, leaving behind a reddish-brown arid land. During wetter periods, plants thrive on the lush flood plains. Ferns and other spore-bearing plants grew into forests that sheltered four-footed animals. These reptiles had but one skeleton to leave behind, but in the muddy banks of streams they left myriad traces of their passing. Covered by sand, cemented by waterborne minerals, they hardened to stone. The deep impressions and shortness of stride suggest heavy-bodied animals with short legs, probably more at home in water than on land. Time passes. The earth changes. More life evolves. The climate of the region became progressively hotter, more arid. The water evaporated from the land, leaving a cracked and parched earth. Memories of another time are preserved here in the ripple marks of vanished streams and the moles of salt crystals. Time passes. And a flood plain becomes a desert. Arid, barren, the realm alone of the lizard and the scorpion, this age too is preserved in the walls of the canyon. Layers of cross bedding, created as the wind blown sand accumulated in dunes. And the tracks of a scorpion that passed this way 250 million years ago 